the situations that had that happened here at this particular library is very disturbing. All right, you guys, this is James from Not Free Project. Remember to subscribe, share, and like. You know what? Forget all that stuff. This is something serious. You know, this drag queen story hour stuff, it's gotten really serious. I mean, first of all, it started out trying to present itself as being innocuous, as being harmless, as not having any type of agenda behind it while they are focusing on little kids. Now, they have pushed this as people being able to have fun with their kids, go to libraries, read stories, and learn of new identities and people just being themselves and all of that. So that's how it's been pushed, as something that has no harm to it, that, that has no influence whatsoever. And they have painted a pretty picture of the entire um, organization of Drag Queen Story Hour. However, as you see this go on and on and it continues to develop and it continues to grow, you see the true face of it coming out. And in this particular instance, which happened back in October, at this particular library out in Oregon, in Portland, Oregon, if you don't know anything about Portland, Portland is very, very, very liberal. I mean, recently someone was accosted, I believe it was someone, by Antifa. And literally, the man was beaten and, and physically harmed. And so it's it, because Antifa continues to be able to exist in uh, Portland without any type of opposing force, then they're able to thrive, they're able to do, they're able to threaten, and they, they're able to intimidate people. And so that's what you have in, this, in that particular case. But getting back to the story... There's a particular drag queen story hour, and there's a particular drag queen by the name of Carla Rossi that has been putting on these drag queen story hours there in the uh, Portland, Oregon area. And at this particular library, St. John's Library, the situations that, had, that happened here at this particular library is very disturbing. You know, as someone who has contact with young people, I'm very careful about how I address when I interact, <clears throat> if I'm within the same space and there aren't any other adults, then you know I make sure that I'm out of that space. So I said to myself, I'm not going to set myself up for any type of foolishness, anything to be attached to my name that could make, have my integrity questioned. Now, with this particular Drag Queen Story Hour, so apparently there have been some pictures that have surfaced of situations where the kids were lying on top of uh, this particular drag queen, Carla Rossi. There's the article here, and I'm going to post the article down below, but I want you to think about that for a moment. I want you to think about that. Your kids lying on top of a grown man dressed up as a woman that has on this garish makeup on looking like a, a, a demon slash clown combination one-two punch, and I'm saying to myself, how does this even happen? I'm trying to say to myself, how in the world did we allow this to get this far? This whole thing about influencing children with this drag queen stuff, it is very sexualized. It is very sexualized. It has very sexual overtones. And in one of my previous videos, I talk about how the majority of drag queen names have always had uh, sexual overtones to them. They've had uh, sexual innuendo to the names. And not even going into that, but look at the video, check the video out. But again, this particular situation here, where these kids are laying on top of this drag queen, frolicking, and, and I don't know what exactly what happened. And the pictures speak for themselves. And the fact of the matter is, you have little kids laying on top of this grown man, this stranger, you know, dressed up like a clown, dressed up like a woman, and you're allowing your kids to be on top of this person, as though they're wrestling like they're in WWE. I don't know what was going on. It looked crazy to me. But all I can say is that that would never happen with my children. That would never happen to, with my children. And, and in my opinion, I, I don't even understand how these parents and how how defects haven't stepped in and taken these kids away. That you would allow your kids to be inundated with this ideology that men and women can switch up at any time. They can, they can intersect at any time. That man can become a woman and a woman can become a man. 
at any time. I don't know where that comes from. Well, we know where it comes from. But again, this is the world. But these are the things that are happening. And these are the things that are influencing the church as well. Because then you have churches that then begin to look at all of this and say, well, they're just people. They're living their lives. And it's not influencing us. It's not going to have any effect on our kids. Yes, it is. More and more uh, believing children, kids who are growing up in Christian households, are falling away. So, you guys, you've got to pay attention to what's going on. So, this particular instance, you have a particular library, St. John's Library up in or, uh, Portland, Oregon. They actually had to take down the pictures. But, uh, this particular website still has them. Again, they have a warning on there. You know, it's, it, I mean, it's not nothing. I'm not saying that it's not sexual, but it's too much. I wish somebody would try it. No, that's not happening with my kids. I'm telling you. <sighs> They'd have to come arrest me. Anyway, this is James from Free Project. I want you to check this out. All right? Remember, Jesus Christ is Lord. Protect your children.